Welcome to our channel. We are the Fights. Thanks for following along as we build our A-frame cabin out in the mountains of Colorado. In 2019, we purchased this 18-acre property. When the world was shut down during 2020, we came to homestead on it and started out small by refurbishing a vintage camper, building a tiny music studio, and most recently, converting a school bus to live in while we finish our A-frame. We're so happy you're here. If you find yourself inspired, don't forget to click subscribe and leave a comment to say hello. morning friends it's great to be here with you all today is labor day we got a bunch of stuff rolling ashley is here in the studio working on a couple videos last week's vlog for us and a wedding that we just got back from florida shooting today the kids are out of school so they're gonna be running around the property hopefully playing and having a grand old time and then I will be working on our house because we are getting to the point with our house where I need to finish up a whole lot of tongue and groove to get us where the point to the point where we can get our certificate of occupancy, which is obviously the main goal leading into fall and winter. So we have to have all of the insulation and wiring covered before they will give us our certificate of occupancy. So I am rolling with that as much as I can today and utilizing the fact that our crew is not here and I won't have to be working around them and they won't have to be working around me. So let's go. To start, we need to bring in the scaffolding in order to reach the highest points of the A-frame. So I forgot that I had not um, painted these trusses yet. And before I can move on with the tongue and groove up past the truss point, I really need to get them painted so that it'll already be done and that I won't have to paint around tongue and groove and tape off everything. So that is actually what we're gonna do and then move into the tongue and groove. We asked you guys if we should surround these beams with pine or paint them black. There was an overwhelming vote for painting them black, so we listened and we're glad we did. The black was definitely the way to go. Now, back to the seemingly endless tongue and groove. Good morning. I am heading out to meet up with Mars uh, for a podcast interview. It's gonna be the first one we've done in over a year. So I'm hoping we're not too rusty, but yeah, someone reached out to us after we had our 10 year anniversary party and saw a little bit about what we're building out on the property and asked to interview us about our 48 state road trip and van life. We're just super excited to get to share a little bit of our story with people who live here in Chaffee County. Checklist. Last one out checklist. Make sure Big Bird is on automate. It's important or else no one will hear music. <laughs> the podcast was a lovely conversation and we look forward to sharing it in just a few weeks. Back on the property, the fellas are getting rolling on some exterior siding. We went with a nickel gap vertical cedar siding. Cedar withstands huge changes in humidity and is resistant to weather much more than other softer woods. Inside the A-frame, Mars is making a bunch of progress with the tonguing group. Today is a super exciting day because we are getting our countertops. We decided to go with a white quartz countertop and I've just been like imagining what it's gonna look like with the black cabinets and it's finally coming together. The guy said it was gonna take him about an hour to do it. I'm so excited. It's not gonna be very much longer and we'll have our countertops and our sink in and it's going to really, really feel like a kitchen. 
I'm not very happy. That is what it's supposed to be. And it's not that. No, it's like gray. It's not even a subtle difference. It's no. like... It has a lot of blue well, in and, it too. I mean, it says Calicata Venice, and that's Petra Silestone. Never even seen this one. I would, yeah, it's like... Dang it. Well, doesn't look like we're gonna get our countertops in this video. Well, that's really disappointing. <laughs> but the guy asked, he's like, do you guys want to keep it? And I said, no, no, I don't want to keep it because it's not what we ordered. So it's going to probably be another two to three weeks until they can get um, the stuff that we did order about a month ago. Man, things like this are so frustrating, but it's okay. We still have a lot of other things to get done with the house. It's not like we're trying to move in tomorrow, so it's fine. Here in a few weeks, we'll get our countertops. So today we overall got a lot done and we're super stoked about it. I just can't get over how much I love this exterior siding. It's cedar with a beautiful stain and finish on it. And we were wondering how it was gonna turn out with the soffit. Here, I'll flip it around. We did a whitewash, but it kind of turned out more yellowish. But, but that being said, there's some yellow in the cedar and honestly it matches really well with the softening that mixed with the black of the doors and the windows is just so great. I freaking love it. So tomorrow we are gonna keep on keeping on with exterior siding and hopefully just make some pretty good progress. I would say that, you know, today we did and tomorrow, man, we'll, we'll be looking at uh, at least getting close to finished probably. But, uh, you know, it always takes a little bit longer than you think. Help me, 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 help me. This is set. Help me, help me, help me. Hey Atlas, what are you guys playing? Um, um, dragons. Dragons? From this perspective, it sure looks like the house is almost done. One thing it needs though is a front porch. County's orders. Our neighbors were super great to lend us a tractor for the day to put in the footers for the deck. But the most exciting part of the week, speaking for Mars and myself, was getting to work with some friends on a project in our tiny studio. Because this was the real heart of why we got this dreamland in the first place. <laughs> 